So this video is going to be completely different to how we normally do a knife video. Yes, we are doing this review without any knowledge about these knives whatsoever. Pretty much, okay. We know that they are made by manufacturer... Zeba. Zeba? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of it. Yes, we do not know the cost of them. That's well, a big one. Yes, and we know the blade's steel because it's printed on the blades. Right. But other than that, we really have no idea anything else about them. No, we don't. Um, these are on loan from <laughs> Nick Shabazz, okay? Uh -huh. He gave us a list of knives here recently on some stuff he wanted to, uh, that, that we could borrow. He uh -huh. was sending some stuff back. We got, uh, we got our stuff back. We got the Medford. We got the um, Frankie the Russian knife, the CKF. Yes, yeah, yeah, the okay. Peace Duke. Yeah. The Peace Duke, yep. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, guys, we're in the park. It is a rainy day, by the way. Yep just finished uh, some thunder and lightning you may still hear that mm -hmm. but he had a list of stuff and he had these Zeba knives I'm like what's Zeba okay um, I saw a picture of one of them and I think it was this one here yeah I don't even remember the model name okay um, so I asked for this one because it looked cool mm -hmm. and then I said send me whatever what other other Zeba you think is cool right yeah all right uh, so the disclaimers real quick Frankie so by the time that we post this video, by the time that you guys are watching this, mm -hmm. we will know some stuff. Yeah, okay? well, we're going to look them up afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you watching the video right now, if you don't already know, okay, mm -hmm. you have the beauty of looking the links up or Googling or whatever. Click mm -hmm. on the links. You can see the prices. That's yeah. the big one. Where they're made, all that kind of stuff, okay? Yeah, we have no idea. We're kind of just in the dark on these, mm -hmm. all right? We kind of thought it would be fun because we wanted to just do the review on first impressions and just the, our, what our take is on them. Sure, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, yeah, here they are. Which one do you have there? Again, we don't we don't even know the model name. I don't know what it is. I did know the model name on this one, I think. I'm going to call this the Stubby Guy. The Stubby? Okay, yeah. why do you call it Stubby real quick? Because it's just short and fat and stubby. And stubby, <laughs> check it out. This is in my hand, you guys. It is a small knife, this guy here. Mm -hmm. I will say though, both of us noticed this. Anybody who were to pick this knife up, we did bring a couple of tools out yeah. here uh, for this reason. Anybody who were to pick this up, you're going to know firsthand it's heavier than it looks. It is, yes. Let's just get into that right okay, away. Okay, yeah. Okay? Okay. Um, this is a little, I think it's a little sub three inch blade. It's not going to be more than three inches if it is three inches. Yeah. Not much more than that is. What are we at? 3.3 ounces. 3.3 ounces? It feels heavier than that. Well, it is a chunk of titanium. Like, it really is. Just We're assuming a, titanium. Yeah, I think it is. It's not very big, you guys. No, it's really not. Yeah. Here. I mean, we... Show the dimensions <laughs> there. Do we have inches? Well, there's three and then there's six. So it's right over three inches long. Three inches long. Okay. Yeah. It's really not a very big knife, guys. But okay. for like the it's size. It's a little chunk. It's he a little is chunk. a little chunk. Yeah. Not saying that's necessarily a bad thing either. Well, did you get yeah, the flashlight? Yeah. Check this out on this one. Now we're assuming titanium, like we said. There's no milling on the interiors of these. Okay. Yeah, just something to take note. All right. That kind of explains it. It is a frame lock. Oh, is there a, there is a steel insert, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is. Okay. Is there over travel? Not Feels touch. like it. Yeah, Feels like a little it. bit. Mm-hmm. Well, there either is or there isn't, though. Feels like there is. Yeah. Yeah. The clip is really cool. Okay, yeah, check out this clip. <laughs> check this out. You and your flashlight. I know. That, to me, looks like a tail. It does. It looks like a little devil's tail. Devil's tail. There you go, yeah. It looks like a devil's tail. Or like some kind of a beast. Or, or a stingray. Stingray or something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an interesting little knife, okay? I, I like him. Do you? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a name on it. What does it have on it, though? It just has Zeba. Which is the brand name, okay? Yes. On the other side, though. And then M390. Now, we already know a couple of thing or two about M390. You Bowler, know, it's an expensive steel. It's top of the line blade steel, okay? It's the best yeah. of the best. We're talking. It, it, it hits all the marks, okay? It's edge retention, corrosion resistance, everything you need in a blade steel, it's got it, okay? It, that suggests to us, price-wise... I would guess that this is my guess. Okay. Just guesstimation. That I would guess that this little knife would cost between two and 300 At least is yeah, what I'm that's saying. That's my, my guesstimate. Okay. 
guesstimate. So, that's my guesstimate. Frankie guesstimate. There it is. That's good detent. It does have good detent, guys. Can you shake it out? No, you can't. This See, is but, kind of a fun game. Yeah, it is. It is for us. We okay. really, guys, we really know nothing about nothing this. Nothing about it. Now check this out. The little flipper tab. It is a flipper only. There's no other method to deploy here. Uh -huh. Oh, there's centering. Frankie, well, I'll show you this real quick. There's the little flipper tab. Yeah. A little bit sharp. A little bit sharp. Okay. okay. But it does flip readily. He kind of has a nice little harpoon blade shape to him. That is a harpoon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the shape of the blade. He's kind of sweet looking. Sweeping to the point there. Yeah. But he's thick, thick too. It, you know, the, the edge thickness itself is uh, eh, medium, I would say. For this size knife, I would maybe put it on the thicker side. You're talking Your the handle medium. thickness? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I'm sure there was a an innuendo there somewhere. Well, he's kind of, he is thick. Yeah, where are we at here? Handle thickness, guys. We always okay. look at that one. It's thick for his. He's thick for his thighs. For he's his kind thighs? of. He's kind of girthy. What are we at? Point yep. five six. Five six point five zero or so he, half inch being kind average. Of, he's kind of big. There's that back spacer there. We're guessing titanium as well. He's short and thick. Yeah. Here, shine a light again. Now okay. oh, you can kind of see it in there anyway. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot in there that, that adds to that weight. Mm -hmm. It's it's under four ounces, but it's still just, it feels chunky. <laughs> he is. For, for all the weight and all the things we're saying, it's nice, it handles yeah. nice. Flips nice, the tab's a little sharp, it's nice, it's quality. I'm saying this is not a cheap knife. No. I have no like idea. Like I said, my guess, two to three hundred. Well, where is it made though? I don't That's know. That's the thing. That's gonna affect the price. If it's made in China, it's gonna be on the cheaper side. If 50% chance it's made by Wheat. <laughs> <laughs> the world conglomerate we knife company if they make it it's going to be around 250 300 dollars yeah. right if it's made in the united states we it's going to be Ziba. Well, i don't know it's going to be double that if it's made in the united states anywhere else who knows it could be anywhere in between um is it a production knife is it a mid tech I don't, I don't think it's a custom now does nick own it if nick owns it it's not a custom i doubt it's a custom <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he doesn't buy customs. Right. He doesn't really do that. Mm -hmm. Yet. Insulting anyway. the Nick. No, it's not insulting at all. Okay. He's not he's not doing customs. Okay. He's just not doing that. Like I say, yet. Mm-hmm. And the he's he hasn't taken it apart yet, so it's not overly lubed. There's that guy, whatever the model number is. <laughs> no, it's not dripping with lubrication. Now check this guy out. That's the one you initially took too, okay? Yes. That's but now like I bonded with him. Now check this out. This is the one I carried over to the park mm -hmm. here. This is the one I saw in pictures initially, and that's all I knew about it. Also a Zeba, guys. Yes. There is a blade in there. Check it out. I know. It buries so nicely. It does bury. There's the pocket clip. It's a Look bent. at how thin that pocket clip is. Guessing it's titanium. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, we know nothing about it. Not even the no model. No idea. Mm -mm. Okay. There's the flipper tab. There is no other way to deploy this knife. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. Limited edition. There it is, kind of a spear point with a little swedge on there. A E B dash L six one H R C. A E B L sixty one H R C. Sixty one H R C. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fairly hard on. Is. So H R C uh, Rockwell you just scale. Hard on. Hard on. <laughs> hard. It's gonna be hard on the Rockwell scale. Thank you for pointing that out. Yes, we're talking edge retention here, Frankie. Okay. Sixty one is very high, is very high up. Did this one have that? I forget. Three ninety. No, it did not. It didn't have that. Okay. No, H sixty one HRC is fairly high up. Okay. okay. Uh, they they decided to print that here. Mm -hmm. I don't. I kind of forget. Uh, I don't know a lot about. AEBL offhand. I want to say it's like a Swedish steel. Frankie, say it. Just a Swedish steel, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know a ton about AEBL offhand, but 61 is going to be up there for edge retention. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Fairly uh, simple grind on that. Full flat grind, essentially, yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, this one I'm really liking. I know. I really like how thin it is. It's it's thin. Let's check that. This, would, you be, it. this would be a super good boot carry. Boot carry or gentleman's carry in uh -huh. a suit or just every day. Uh, now, yeah, make sure you're getting the full handle there. Now, 0. 0.4. 0.40. We'll call it 0. 0.41. Yeah, 0. We're 0. almost 0. 1, there. Yeah. 0.41. That's on the thin that side. Is, okay. Look at that. That's a super deep carry pocket clip, too. It is. For me, I like that for my boot. 
that is <laughs> that is U five seven one deep <laughs> carry. Okay, yes. bent carry clock pocket clip now that's a discrete carry clip if there ever is one okay yeah now I say a lot of times lately I've said that I don't like deep carry clips this one is a discrete carry knife yeah, in general super good. You, you know what this gets a pass this yeah. type of knife knife gets a pass and it looks like g10 handle yeah it almost has like a carbon fiber kind of look, look to, to it, it doesn't it I well, have, you have carbon, carbon fiber, fiber in my pocket okay. right now sure so g10 Let's take a look at that in the ZT770 sure Hug hair. <laughs> nice. But, and then anodized titanium, you can tell that that's what that is. We're, we're guessing it's titanium. I would guess it is. Well, but overall, is, on the weight of it, it let, is here, let's show light. the weight. Yeah. yeah the, 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 where are we at? Zeroed? Yep. Zeroed in ounces. Holy 2. cow. 2.20. And, and again, look at, the, look at the size difference. This knife open, I mean, come on, look at that. Well, okay, that's a bad example. But look. But that one was 3.3. .3, yeah. And then this is 2.2. 2.20. It weighs nothing. It buries in your pocket. But what did you say was your only complaint about this knife? Well, okay, I got a couple things yes. that, that, that really that really stick out to me with this knife, okay? Let's okay. get rid of that. And this is just first impressions and whatever, and, and who mm -hmm. knows, okay? Again, we know nothing about it. Right. Not even the model name. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's look at the centering there. Okay, so my one complaint about the knife, and again, yeah. I don't know if this is... This is a custom maker doing mid techs or if this is a limited production run. Did it say limited? One of them. Yeah, says that limited. one says limited edition. Limited edition. Okay. All right. So I just I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the backstory. Right. What country they're being made from? Just don't know. Right. All right. The flipper tab itself, Frankie. I think you'll agree is very sharp. Yeah. It's very sharp. Okay. It is a little sharp. If you put any pressure at all on the lock bar you realize real quick just how sharp this thing yeah, is because then it really resists, it, yeah. okay? All right, the flipper tab is very sharp. Mm -hmm. All right, that's an easy fix. That's right. an easy fix. Don't push on the lock bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but even when, you, even when you don't push on the lock bar, it's still sharp. I'm saying for the, for the maker or even at home, you could fix that, okay? Um, by doing a little bit of grinding on it. Right, that, okay. okay? Um, but yeah, the, and it's a relatively minor complaint because mm -hmm. it does flip very well. The detent is very yeah, nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay? You're not going to shake this one out. No. Okay. The, it, it flips very nice. Very light, very gentleman's carry, excellent knife. Mm -hmm. um, okay, there's another big one that, that glares out at me, and I and I yeah. saw this instantly. What, you want to tell them this one? This no, is the, you can go. Okay. Yeah, this is the one that I saw just like within seconds of handling this knife. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I didn't really think about it at first. Yeah. But look at the blade to handle ratio. Okay, so show them show them the knife. Okay. Um, look at how much extra there is. How much more blade you can have in there. Let's see if uh, let's see if I can get something behind here to show you. Meaning, the blade is uh, is is fully inside there. Look how much extra room there is for blade. Mm -hmm. There's almost a uh, almost half inch room in there. Well, okay? and even just this, um, the. What are we talking? Well, you could have so much more if you moved the the spacer down too. Mm -hmm. Like that spacer seems a bit extreme too for such a, a minimal. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, is the spacer getting in the way? Okay, yeah, well, like, could the spacer be smaller? It could be even smaller too. Right, right. So you could even make an even longer so blade too. The handle, the whole knife could be shorter, mm -hmm. um, or the blade could be longer. What's the deal there? That seems completely obvious to us, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you and you take a look at it this way, fully deployed, right? It's just obvious, isn't it? Yeah, like handle Watch your hand to blade ratio. Hand just yeah, just looking at it, it's just that's a that's a short blade compared to this handle, right? Well, and like compared to this one, this one just buries all the. I mean, all goes all the way to the end of the blade. And and go ahead and deploy it. All right, it maximizes use. It looks balanced. It looks mm -hmm. proportionate, doesn't it? Most knives that we see, where's your seven seven zero? Because it's out, right? Yeah. Most knives that we see maximize that use. Go ahead and no, just just get your hand. The shadows. Um, yeah. Okay. The shadow is showing. Most knives that, that you see maximize that blade to handle ratio, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this one is just the first yeah, thing I see. Yeah, that one just doesn't. Now, knowing nothing about Ziba, I hope you're saying that right. Maybe it's Ziba, or I, I, I don't mm -hmm. know. Knowing nothing about the company, is it a kid? Is it a person? Is it a first time knife? Is it a first effort? Is this a prototype that doesn't say prototype? I mean, I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is it a mistake like that? Or 
is it done intentionally? Yeah. That was my second thought. Was it done intentionally? Mm -hmm. Is okay. it for a state that has restrictions or something like that? That's yeah. what we were wondering, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I, f I remember measuring it. It was like, it's like, I don't know, two and a half or something like that? Two yeah, and a half here inches? we could even just do it right here. Because here's six again. We could pretend it was one. Yeah. So it's less than three inches. So the blade is less than three inches yeah. long. Okay, great. So what rules does that fall under, like under, um, you know, a big city, New York, Chicago, mm -hmm. um, or other countries, where does that fall under, you know, like in, in Europe, uh, Paris or Germany or somewhere, um, it, it, what, what other uh, states, cities, countries, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. might that be an issue? If that comes into play, then it starts to make a lot of right. sense, doesn't because it? Because it's actually the same length as this knife. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're, they're the same. Mm -hmm. So are they making them for some type of... Right, so maybe there's some, type some of reason area. for that. Yeah, yeah. Because um, that being said, man, I love this knife. Yeah, this is lot. just cool. It is. It is. It, and, and again, I, I've been saying lately, I don't care for deep carry clips so much. This type of knife, no, it's, it's cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it, you know, for this type of knife. It's discreet carry. It's... It's it's minimal carry. It's, it's so thin. There's no logos on it that jump out at you, and and there's yeah. good jumping to it too. It's very minimal. Yeah, you know, you, it, know, it you, just, you bring it's up a little bit of a jumping. You bring up the jumping. It is there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do a whole lot for me. Now my thumbs are bigger. It doesn't do a whole lot for me. Yeah, this one is more aggressive. It makes it so you can grip into it a little bit more. It's very fine jumping. You guys see that? And it's it's well, twice. And with, you can get a little bit more because you have the, the ramp on the top there. Yeah, that kind of swedge that's building there. Yeah, um, that fine has, jimping probably does a, a little bit more for you yeah. than it does for me. We were debating about taking these apart, but and I did ask Nick. I was trying to get minimal information. He has not taken them apart yet. He will. So look at his channel. I'm sure he will. Um, some type of proprietary Frankie. What is that going to be? That's going to be some type of I don't know. Like a flathead. Flathead, whatever that may be. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. <laughs> some, I don't think we have that. No. In our um, toolbox. Actually, shine your light on there. See if we can see any kind of um, phosphor bronze bushings or anything. Yes. You guys see that? You see phosphor bronze? Uh-huh. Maybe it's on bushings. I don't know. See if it's, you know. Oh, wait. Just a sec. Bushings versus bearings, that kind of thing. Or sometimes there's a combination. See I think it might here. be a combination. Is it? Let's take a look at this guy, too. Let's see if we can see that. Up straight down. Definitely see the uh, the gold, the phosphor, bronze gold color. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna take them apart. We'll leave that for Nick. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's our impressions of the knife as they function, as we yeah, know they're it. Cool. They're from the factory like this. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's the thing. <laughs> that's the other question too. Is what's the deal with these knives as far as Nick? Is did he buy Who's these? Are they? Yeah. Did he buy these? Does he own Can them? Did they get loaned to him? Does he own them? Did he take a bath? <laughs> As he says. <laughs> I saw Nick take a bath once. You're going to have to explain that. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? It really does. Well, I think a lot of people did, actually, if they follow him on Instagram. Really? If they saw, they, they probably saw him in the bathtub. There was a picture of him in the bathtub when he was, like, showing a picture of his watch or something like that. In really? the bathtub. He was fully clothed. Oh, I get it. In so. the bathtub. So, so I, I think it. a lot of people have seen him take I don't that. watch his watch reviews, but he must have... Uh, it was on Instagram. He no, was in the bathtub. I'm saying he, much, he must have uh, bought one that I turned don't. out to suck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. You know, I don't know. Taking a bath, yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. I didn't yeah. get that saying. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if, he t if he took a bath on these particular knives, I'm wondering. Oh, okay. Or if there's somebody else's entirely. That's what we don't know. I guess I could have asked him that. I guess it would be an interesting question of how much would you pay for these knives? Yeah. How well, much would you pay for these? Um, I, I have no idea because I'd have to know. You know, country of origin makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, the person behind it, the story behind it, it just it makes a difference, doesn't it? it I don't know. It was a gnome that made them. That would be probably increase the cost. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> I would guess just based on let's see, based on M three ninety on M390. that one, and what we're seeing kind of on on this one here, mm -hmm. just the the feel and and I don't know. This has to be intentional. This this blade to handle right yeah. here that has to be intentional. I don't know what I'm seeing. It it can't be less than the price of a of a production Wii knife. Okay. 
And in fact, so it's like probably more. It's probably more than that. Not less than 300, I'm going to say. Okay. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Where are they made? Your guess is your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. Zebra. Hmm. Where does I'd that say sound like it's from? South African, because it's close to zebra. <laughs> nice guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, to Zeba, whoever you are, if you Sorry are... Sorry that we're in... Hopefully we, <laughs> we didn't don't, insult you too we much. Don't, yeah, we don't mean to insult you. <laughs> um, these are, in fact, nice knives. We like you. We've got, <laughs> we've got a couple of criticisms, but uh, overall what we're looking at here... I like this one. Well, I like them both, actually, quite a bit. Especially I used to, this. I started to really like Chunky, and then I like... <laughs> chunky. The, then Thinny. Thinny and Chunky. Um, but I like Chunky still. This is cool. I would carry this. I would carry this, yeah. And I would carry Chunky. Yeah. I Very nice, though. Mm -hmm. This was fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now we have to go look them up and see how much they cost. We will. We're going to uh -huh. do that tonight. By the time this video posts, we will know stuff about exactly. these knives. Exactly. We're yeah. going to have to check it out and see what other colors they come in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye.